Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my first video of 2023. I'm really sorry for missing out these days. I went to India, then finished my vacation in Singapore and I'm finally back to home in Australia and that is why I just couldn't make it. Like I had so many videos shot that I was planning to upload but no, it didn't just work out. We fell sick, it was too hectic and now I'm like finally taking my time and you know, breathing. So I hope you're all doing well with an amazing 2023 start. And if you're watching me for the first time, hi, my name is Vinisha. Thank you so much for tuning in. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And click on the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, here's a quick story time that I wanted to share with you guys. So in 2022, in December, me and my husband, we went to India. So we had a family function there. So we went to India and we were in Chennai for like a week or or so and oh my god the luxury I literally felt in Chennai was like next level guys you have like cab services swiggy oh my god like it honestly felt so like you know luxury to me after living here for like almost one one and a half years like whatever you feel like whatever you crave like it's like order it swiggy and then they come and give you whatever you want like I just feel like you guys are so lucky and not to forget the salon like salon services are like the best I feel in India like here it's so hard like I haven't heard from one person that you know they say I am like 100% satisfied with this salon like no everyone here has a not very satisfied experience here in the salons so I never got a good review from anyone in any salon here but yeah in India I just won't and as usual I got my keratin treatment done uh keratin hair color and haircut done like usual I used to do every time I go to India this has become like a ritual for me now and I'm getting it the third time now so let's keep that for another video I'll share with you guys like what color I did haircut and all that and surprisingly this time I haven't got layer cut done and I'll tell you why in that video. The next thing was like I went to Nagarkoil. So after wedding, this is like the first time we both are going together to Nagarkoil. But the sad part was we both fell sick in the entire time we spent in Nagarkoil. So it was like nine days, eight or nine days. And we are like fully sick. Oh my god, we had like such bad throat infection, fever, cough, cold, body pain, all that exhaustion stuff. And finally recovered and then it was time to go and then we did not come directly to Melbourne we had a vacation to Singapore so yes we were there for New Year's so we went on the 26th and then finished New Year and then came back here now if you're someone who's planning on visiting Singapore then here are a few things which I would like to tell you guys so Charles and Keith have you heard of the brand mostly you should have been you get really good deals in Singapore because so Charles and Keith is actually a brand from Singapore and you get stuffs that are like you know with such huge price differences in Singapore compared to what you get in India. So if you're someone who likes the brand and would want to buy certain things from there, then if you're traveling to Singapore, that is like the best time for you to get them. I got like four pairs of shoes and then two or three, three bags. And I'll show you guys really soon. This time to Singapore, it was us with another family and they are like my husband's close friends. So there was a toddler in our group this time and it was so much fun. We had like such amazing time with her. She was so cute and um, Singapore. Singapore. Now as fancy as it sounds. I did like you know had a bad experience I lost something very important to me and the first two days I was like totally off mood I was like crying and not in mood yeah all that happened but still the vacation has to go on right so then I kind of like cheered myself up and yeah 
we had a really good time so here let me show you all that i got from singapore now charles and keith has really good uh, deals because of the tax differences you have uh, in india compared to uh, singapore because it's singapore's own brand you get it a lot cheaper there and the first thing that i got from charles and keith was a flat so if you already seen my youtube shots then you would have seen that i wore this sandal so this is like the basic um black sandal which has this buckle detailing so it was really cute really comfortable and i really wanted a black uh, flats for a very long time and i finally got one now this is really comfortable and it is like super flat so that you can walk with it for a very long time and it does not hurt your feet at all and the next pair of shoes that i have is this tan brown heeled uh sandals so this has this buckle detailing and it also has a heel back here and and recently i started you know investing in good pair of heels and i am not a very big fan of like you know small pointed heels so i just wanted something comfortable so i got these big block heels this is in the shade tan and it was like really really comfortable so usually i'm in the size 41 but i found that in charles and keith 40 worked really well for me uh, especially with sandals now uh, with the boots and and other shoes and stuff that i tried 41 worked well for me but with sandals i really felt 40 was very comfortable for me now the next pair of shoes that i have is very similar to the one that i've showed you previously so it looks like this it is a white pair of exactly same um block heel but the shape of the heel looks a bit different but it is very similar kind of sandal it also has this detailing in the side and it looked really cute when i wore it so there was uh, a black color as well in this but since i got the flats in black i was like i'll just get the white in this and i really really liked how it looked on me and again this is in the size 40 and it was absolutely comfortable for me to wear it now the last pair of shoes that i have here is boots so i've been trying to get a really comfortable boot for a very long time the problem with boots for me is uh the tip of the boots are usually like pointed in most cases where i feel it's very uncomfortable for the type of feet that i have but this one is a bit rounded and this one i got in the size 41 because this is the one which was like really comfortable to me compared to the 40 so it comes with this zipper detailing in the back and it also comes with this decent heel length it was really comfortable when i wore it and i was like okay fine i really need good pair of boots and the one that i have here even though i got it on a 50% off it was still expensive and not that comfortable so i can wear it like hardly for like an hour or an hour and a half after that my feet hurt like crazy but this one was like really comfortable because of the shape here in the front and I thought definitely I need a good pair of boots and I got them. Now coming to the next category we have handbags. Now honestly I'm not a handbag person at all. Like I used to hate handbags. I'm like the exact opposite of my mom in this thing because she used to love handbags and I used to literally hate them. I don't like carrying them. and i just feel it's like torture when i you know have a handbag like always holding it in your hand and walking i'm like no this is not going to work for me so i always prefer having backpacks compared to handbags but uh, recently i always felt that you know i had the need that i should have a really big handbag to uh you know travel with or you know keep a lot of stuff inside so that it comes mostly handy right so i needed some stuff so mostly it was like me walking without you know carrying anything on my hand but i'm pretty sure that you know i'm in that stage of adulthood where i can't go on like that so i like literally forced myself to you know get one big handbag and like two small sling bags so that you know it's easier for me to carry small small things around whenever i need so the first one that i have here is from again charles and keith and they come with this really nice bag where you can store your handbag so this is the bag that i got so it's like a really nice ivory shade bag and it also comes with this buckle detailing in the front so this doesn't have any shape and it just opens with a magnetic click doesn't have a zipper or anything and inside comes this small pouch which is actually attached to the handbag obviously it is detachable but still it is like attached in case you want to keep some uh essential items inside this so that it doesn't fall out and yes this is the bag i have used this bag in that shots if you have already seen it and already used it 
so yeah that's about this so it can really hold a lot of items and i can roam around peacefully without having to think a lot and the second bag that i have here also comes with a pouch so all the bags comes with a pouch that they give you so this bag has okay i haven't even removed the package material set this is like the plain sling bag that you can take with you wherever you want. It comes with this chain uh, detail for you know carrying it around. So you can adjust this one. You can either carry it short or you can just make just pull it one side and make it longer and carry it on your shoulder. So that's up to you. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna use this, but yeah, this is one bag that I feel you know I will reach out to most you need to carry your phones lip balm SPF and all that right and you definitely need one the only handbag that I forced myself to have was one that was gifted to me by a brand and I probably never bought one for myself after that like I always used to buy one before vacation then I used to just give it to my mom so that I don't have to keep that for the rest of my life and carry that yeah that is how I was now this is the last bag that I have from Charles and Keith so this is a small bag like this. It comes with that sling inside. And this is how it looks. It's like really cute, handy. It comes, it has a pouch here and also comes with a extra storage here. So the belt is also the similar color. The cool detail is the part in the front where you don't have to actually carry a wallet. It's the proper wallet where you have like card pouch and everything inside. So I really love the way how it was like very functional in a single bag. And yes, I really love this bag. Not gonna lie. It's like super cool. But hopefully I start carrying a bag from now on and not rely on my husband's pocket. And another important skincare that I got from Singapore is from Eucerin and it is called Aquaphor, which is for soothing your skin. So it is a skin balm, which you can apply on your uh, face or your body whenever you have like a sunburn or you know, when your skin is like very sensitive and irritated. So yeah, that's why I got it. I haven't used it yet, but I will keep you guys posted if it works really good. So Eucerin is not available in Australia. So I found it in Singapore and I thought I should try this because it's like very famous people everywhere talk about this brand so it's like very similar to bioderma avene and all that uh, kind of brands where you have like no fragrance uh, and all that not like something which is like scented so yeah let me see how it works and i'll keep you guys posted so i also got a lot of skincare and uh, a little bit of makeup from india oh my god the brands there are like amazing especially this brand minimalist like wow they come with like really good products with like such good ingredients and uh, honestly jealous that you know i'm not able to get all these here so one product which i'm like really enjoying is this uh, lip balm which i can just find it here on my table this is the l ascorbic acid lip treatment with vitamin e and glycerin which is for pigmented lips now i'm not going to say that this just work like magic okay but this lip balm would have at least calmed my pigmentation to at least like a 30 percent but if you don't use a lip balm or a lip balm with SPF, then the effect is just going to reverse. So it happened that, you know, I was like very happy with the result. And one day I just forgot to apply my lip SPF and it start went to, you know, stage one. So whatever treatment you do to your face, you have to protect that with an SPF so that it doesn't get damaged or you know go to square one so always have the habit of using a spf so that so that you get the actual benefits rather than you know just ruining it all off because you don't wear a sunscreen or protect your skin okay now let's talk about 2023 so i hope you are all having an amazing start i know it's been more than like a week since 2023 started but my year started with a very very tiring exhausted kind of you know physical health I was like I just want to go home and crash like that is the exact mindset that I had when 2023 started so we went there and so in Singapore we actually witnessed the fireworks there and it was like really beautiful the new year was like amazing there Happy 
so there were like thousands and thousands of people gathered on the place where you know they have the uh, crackers so that's, that's called the bayfront area and there was like so much people there but it was like worth it the fireworks was wow so that is how my new year started but it was like so exhausting so we had to leave the next day but this year i promised myself i'm going to definitely focus more on my physical and mental health get good eight hours of sleep no matter what start logging and engaging with you guys more like in 2022 the worst thing i did was you know not engaging much with comments or you guys much so i was pretty active in instagram but i think i failed to do that in youtube much because i couldn't keep a track of all the comments or somehow i missed everything and um, i couldn't like you know reply to comments and all that whereas in instagram it was so easy people used to dm me or comment me and it was so easy to find them but that was not the case uh, with youtube so it was like very difficult for me so this time it will be my priority to like you know engage with you and you know properly answer all your questions especially in the comments so that's going to be something which i really want to do in 2023 next this is like a personal thing for me so i'm a very very hardcore introvert so this year all i wanted to do is like go out talk to new people and have a good communication with them so i'm this person who extremely shies out and you know try to avoid conversations with you know people outside especially even in stores customer care i try to avoid everything and just you know run away i push my husband to go talk to them and i'll be like no 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 i don't want to talk i don't want to talk but this time i really hope i shouldn't be doing that and uh, that is something that i have like a personal goal for me this year so i was getting really good feedback from you know big sister advice that i did like in a couple of videos and i got a lot of personal messages in instagram saying that you know they like really loved it and all that so i'm really going to focus more of that this year and and hopefully tell you guys a few things which i have experienced in my life personally and where i struggle to find things out myself so that i can help you and guide you a little bit Okay that's it that's all that I wanted to share in this video with you guys thank you so much for watching till the end please do let me know in the comments what video would you like to watch first do you want to watch a video where i talk about my hair journey like keratin coloring and um, haircut video or do you want to watch something else so that i can like you know make a video according to that again thank you so much for watching till the end and i'll see you guys very very soon in my next video thanks for watching bye bye take care